Um, I'm Kathy Cutting. I work at Cal State East Bay, the branch campus out in Concord, and I'm the field station coordinator for the Galindo Creek field station that we created six years ago. But before I say that, I just wanna say how happy I am to be in this room with all you people doing all this great work. I'm so proud to be part of this community. It's, it's amazing to see everybody here and all the diversity and all the ages and everything all represented and we're all just really good people. <laughs> I just, just wanna say it's really impressive, so yeah. <clears throat> I, I had a faculty member that's sitting with me today going, you know, I've been to a lot of conferences. This one's different. I'm like, <laughs> yes it is, we, you know, feels good. Um, I also wanna thank the Contra Costa Resource Conservation District and the Flood Control District for hosting this event. So, yeah, Lisa and Victoria worked really hard on getting this put together and it shows it's been great, so good job. Um, okay. Um, I'm gonna have to read the notes because I don't know all this stuff by heart, hi. Um, okay, every symposium, the Contra Costa Watershed Forum recognizes individuals and projects that have provided exceptional contributions to the creeks and watersheds throughout our county. All award winners were nominated by peers and then selected by an awards, awards subcommittee of the Symposium Planning Committee. All award nominations will be listed on the Contra Costa Watershed Forum's webpage for the 2023 Symposium after today and will remain up for a limited amount of time. The names of the award winners will be added to the awards page of the forum's website. Let's get to the awards. Award winners, when I announce your name, please make your way to the stage and accept your award and pose for a quick photo with me. So, then you can return to your seat. First up, the Emerging Leader Award. This award recognizes a person who shows great potential within the environmental field. The winner of this award is new to the environmental field, but has displayed dedication to the creeks in our county by creating a new community group in 2022. The awardee has led several creek cleanups with the primary focus of engaging community members in creek stewardship activities. The 2023 Contra Costa County Creek and Watershed Symposium Emerging Leader is for Fareed Nabkel. Fareed led the creation of the Friends of Concord Creeks and serves as board member on the Walnut Creek Watershed Council. In addition to providing numerous opportunities for community members to engage in the watershed stewardship activities, Fareed helped generate visibility for Concord's creeks when he motivated 30 people to walk in Concord's 2023 Fourth of July parade, proudly displaying the Friends of Concord Crete's t-shirts. We're excited to see what Fareed and the Friends of Concord Crete's achieve together in the future. Congratulations. award is the Outstanding Contra Costa Watershed Volunteer. This award promotes volunteerism and the important roles volunteers play in promoting and solving watershed issues. The winner of this award is a member of the Friends of Alhambra Creek and has taken an active role in creating partnerships with the local community, including working with high school and middle school students to create a Friends of Alhambra Creek youth branch and bringing together her neighbors to care for a pocket park on their street. In her nomination, there were many examples of this award winner's determination, passion, and leadership in the Alhambra Creek watershed. It is fair to say that this person is an inspiration to those she works with. The 2023 Contra Costa County Creek and Watershed Symposium Outstanding Contra Costa Watershed Volunteer is Jane Moore.
along, along with her friend, Kathy Radke, yeah. Jane helped found the Friends of Alhambra Creek in 1991 and has been a dedicated member ever since. That's over 30 years. Jane has been a Friends of Alhambra Creek volunteer and leader longer than any other person alive today. <laughs> Jane's volunteer work is exemplary and stands out above the rest. Congratulations. we will award the Watershed Champion. The Watershed Champion Award honors a person who has worked to build partnerships and provide leadership in protecting, restoring, or enhancing creeks and watersheds. The winner of this award is one of the co-founders of Friends of San Ramon Creek and has led various efforts for this group with unwavering enthusiasm and dedication. This Watershed Champion organized presentations for the Danville Library Speaker Series and has also played a key role in the group's water quality monitoring program. He's been on stage four times already today. This will be his fifth. The, the 2023 Contra Costa County Creek and Watershed Symposium Watershed Champion is Dick Heron. Yay. Um, I, I like the previous picture better. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, Dick has done a lot of work with us on our campus too, so I, the, guy, the guy gets around, okay. Arguably the most remarkable work Dick has done and continues to work on is the effort to eradicate the invasive weed Arundo, don't ask, from the San Ramon Creek subwatershed. In 2013, he took the initiative to lead a few small volunteer groups to remove Arundo from, the, from a couple areas along the creek in Danville. Recognizing the enormity of the task at hand, Dick collaborated with a software expert to develop a comprehensive map, meticulously tracking the locations of Arundo within the subwatershed. This proactive approach set the foundation for a highly organized and effective eradication effort. Through the challenges each year brought, Dick and friends of San Ramon Creek volunteers have refined their removal methods to maximize efficiency. I could put that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> meeting every Friday from April through October to remove Arundo from the creek banks. Largely due to Dick's strong leadership, the Friends of San Ramon Creek have eradicated 120,000 square feet of the known 160,000 square feet of Arundo in San Ramon Creek watershed. Dick ensures the volunteer team has all the necessary permits, landowner permissions, and equipment for the weekly efforts, while also keeping regulatory agencies informed about the effort's progress. Dick has inspired and continues to inspire people to work collaboratively toward healthier watersheds in Contra Costa County. Congratulations. Mike Anzio is our chief Arundo killer. That was his self-appointed title uh, after we asked him what he wanted to be called is out of the country, so uh, I can't share this with him today, but I hope all of you know that he's the one that really does the organizing for us. Here, this is you. Okay. Finally, we will award the Outstanding Contra Costa Watershed Project Award. This award recognizes a project that restored, protected, and or enhanced a creek or watershed resource in Contra Costa County. Particularly outstanding public education and outreach projects on creek and watershed resources that emphasize collaboration were considered. In 2023, Contra Costa County Creek and Watershed Symposium Outstanding Contra Costa Watershed Project is the North Richmond Watershed Connections Project. John, John Steer and Juliana Gonzalez, please, please come up to accept this. Thank you. 
This project was a collaboration between Contra Costa County's Public Works Department, specifically its Transportation Engineering Division and County Watershed Program with the Watershed Project and Urban Tilt. This project not only creates a healthier watershed by reducing pollutants flowing to San Pablo Creek, but it also engages and brings together the local community members to install and maintain green stormwater infrastructure in a disadvantaged area. This project considers or consisted of four components. The first has been to plant 38 street trees in one what territory. Which serves as bioretention feature along the newly improved Fred Jackson Way. The second is a rain garden beside the Urban Tilth Farm and along Fred Jackson Way at Brookside Drive. The third is an initiative to plant 40 street trees on private property in collaboration with homeowners. The final component is an urban nature loop, doubling as a safe route to school, animated by artwork and interpretive elements to foster public education, access, and wayfinding. The four components of this project work together to treat stormwater, improve air quality, ease the urban heat island effect, reduce pollutants running into the creek and bay, and create an overall healthier and more aesthetically pleasing environment. They also provide an opportunity for North Richmond community members to enjoy a greener neighborhood and engage with and learn more about their local watershed and community. There are numerous benefits this project provides to both the local environment and residents. These benefits were only made possible by the strong partnership of and buy in from Contra Costa County, the Watershed Project, and Urban Tilth. One of the symposium field trips happening tomorrow will be this tour on this project. Congratulations to all of those that helped plan and implement this project. Is that, is that it? That's it?